In this video, we will solve a problem on a rectangular hyperbola demand curve, the elasticity of that very curve. The question is given the demand function is Q is equal to 20 upon P. Q denotes the quantity demanded, P is the price. Okay, where symbols have their usual meaning, we are being told at what price the elasticity of demand would be unity. We need to find out the price. The options are 20, 10, 5 are all of the above. Okay, so what we are being given? we are being given a demand curve that is q is equal to 20 upon p okay and we are being told to find out the price at which this uh, you know demand curve will be unity that means the price elasticity of demand would be unity okay what is the formula for elasticity of demand so elasticity of demand let me write it in this form uh, so elasticity of demand is simply uh, dq upon dp into p upon q okay this is the that means change in output uh, change in quantity demanded with respect to change in price times ordinal price upon ordinal quantity this is the formula for uh, you know elasticity of demand and we are being told to find out the price at which this elasticity of demand would be unity that means let us uh, you know set it equal to one so elasticity of demand is unity and we take the absolute value here okay so elasticity of demand is unity that means we have one here and let us take also the absolute value here okay So we need to find out dq upon dp. Q is being given us as 20. So this p, if I transpose it into the numerator, it will become p to the power minus 1. Okay, simple thing. Now dq upon dp means taking the derivative of this function with respect to p. Now by power function rule, the coefficient of, um, you know, sorry, the exponent of p will become coefficient. So we will have minus 1 into 20 uh, p minus 1 minus 1 by power function rule that is if we have uh, let us say a y is equal to x to the power n we want to find out it is derivative dy upon dx what we do by power function rule this n becomes coefficient then we have x and this n is subtracted by 1 and we are here we have p to the power minus 1 we have p to the power minus 1 it's derivative was this minus 1 would have become coefficient then we have p minus 1 and using this formula we have minus 1 again okay was well, just for clarification so this comes out to be a uh, minus 20 uh, p to the power minus 2 and I can write it in this fashion minus 20 now transposing again it to back to the denominator the exponent sign will get changed if it is minus 2 it will become plus 2 so derivative of <coughs> dq upon dp will be you know minus 20 upon p square okay so as i have told you we take the absolute value here so we will have here dq upon dp is minus 20 upon p square into p upon q so let's take here also this <clears throat> what can do I can do one thing here uh, that is uh, let me write this uh, you know uh, this expression on LHS so we have uh, taking absolute value we will have uh, 20 upon P square into P upon Q what is Q Q is this very thing that is 20 upon P should be equal to a 1 okay so sorry for the background uh, you know noise I cannot control that very thing it is you know very uh, unfortunate so what I have to do with that I don't know so let's try to solve this out so we have 20 upon P square 20 upon p square 
into if I transpose this p it will become p square upon 20 should be equal to 1 now you can see here 20 and 20 will get cancelled p square p square gets cancelled we are left with 1 is equal to 1 so we actually we want to find out the price since we did not get here a, you know in terms of price and this elasticity so in place of uh, you know one can't i write p, p to the power zero is equal to one because you know anything raised power to the zero is equal to one so we know that any positive number okay except zero uh, raised to power anything raised power to zero should be equal to zero uh, sorry one okay <clears throat> now this is being satisfied at all prices you can see here if uh, p raised power zero is equal to one now if i put p is equal to 20 so 20 raised power zero will be also equal to one and if i take 10 10 raised power zero it will be also equal to one if i take 5 5 raised power 0 it will be equal to 1 so uh, the, the thing is that um, you know at all prices okay except when p is equal to 0 the demand would be unity price elasticity of demand would be unity why does this happen because this is a special demand function this is a, dem a special demand function what we call the rectangular hyperbola demand curve that is we have this kind of demand function if i write a uh, quantity demanded on this axis price on this axis so if i plot this very function here it will look like this it will be a rectangular hyperbola okay so when uh, let me write it here this is q is equal to 20 upon p let us say so when we have a rectangular you know uh, hyperbola demand curve we have a unit elastic demand also so simple thing when demand curve is rectangular hyperbola which is in this case so when demand demand uh, you know curve is rectangular hyperbola it implies uh, or rather it represents represents unitary elastic demand unitary elastic demand okay so this was one uh, you know way to find out this you can also use another method that is we know that elasticity of uh, demand is equal to one so if you just take any value here okay for p you will get uh, you know different values of p you will get price elasticity of demand equal to one okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you